For today's video, we are finally doing the long-awaited review for the Dior Bobby bag. Well, a couple of you guys have asked me this since I essentially got the bag, but I did want to wait until I had some time to use it. So I'll be going over the Bobby bag in general and then my thoughts on it. This one is the medium size Bobby bag in the box calfskin in the camel color. I got this a couple of months ago and it is just such a an amazing and incredible piece. The box calfskin is very structured and smooth. It is on the more delicate side, so if you are looking for an everyday bag, I don't know if this would be it, but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more simple and light and easy to style, it's got this kind of vintage and classic feel to it. This is definitely a great choice. I knew that I wanted to go with the medium because the small was just a little bit too tiny for me and the large was just a little too much. I think the medium does an amazing job of being functional but also still being able to fit a lot inside, which I will go over. So just to go over how the bag looks, you have this beautiful box calf skin and you see that CD buckle in the front. The bag has a magnetic closure, so it just flips up top and you have the suede on the inside. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And then my strap is just in here, which I will take out. I do have my Samorga organizer in here, so that is inside the bag, but it is suede all throughout. And because it is suede, that is why I knew that I just really wanted an organizer for it or a liner just to kind of protect that suede. But it is quite roomy. So on the interior of the bag, there is a little pocket in the back. Um, I don't really have anything in there. But then you just see my Samorga organizer. Uh, kind of perfectly matched. I think it is the camel color. And you have the D-rings on the side for the strap. And what I really love about this is that you can change your strap for this bag. I have a strap for my saddle bag that actually goes really well with this one. And I'll show you guys that as well. On the back of the bag, you have that 30 Monton just kind of stamped across the back. And then you have a pocket back here as well, which is quite roomy. Great for like just putting a receipt really quickly or a card if you need to, but the bag is just super light and absolutely stunning. The strap of the bag is this beautiful camel color with that gold hardware and it is adjustable. So you are able to shift this and adjust to your liking. You can do it shorter, a little bit longer. I like keeping this at this length because I do like to wear this bag crossbody. And then if I wanna carry it a little bit shorter, I'll swap it out for my guitar strap. I don't like to adjust this too much because it is kind of a stiffer leather. So I don't like the creasing to move around too much but it is just really such a beautiful strap. And then you just have Dior stamped over here as well. Okay, so this is the bag with the strap on. Again, the color just gets me every single time. It is so stunning, so beautiful. Um, the current season does have a dark tan color, which is a little bit more on the reddish side. This one has a little bit more of a golden tone to it. This is the color of my bobby bag in comparison to my saddle. As you can see, the saddle is a little bit more of a deeper brown. Uh, it does kind of change a little bit in certain lightings, uh, but I do think this one has a little bit more of a cooler tone to it and this is a little bit warmer. This is the bobby bag compared to my cognac tan kind of uh, classic flap. I feel like the dark tan that the bobby bag now comes in this season is a little bit closer to this. So just something to think about. There really is just something so vintage feeling and looking to it. I know it's not everyone's style, but for me, I do just really gravitate towards a lot of classic pieces and know that this will do really well in my wardrobe because I can wear it so many different ways. One of the biggest reasons why I purchased this bag was because the strap could come off and I could easily swap it out with the strap that I have for my saddle bag. For my saddle, I got this one. I'm not sure which collection 
it is from, but you can see it kind of perfectly matches that golden tone. So I will do a couple of mod shots just to show you guys a little bit of a comparison, but just in general, this bag is really super, super light and I am definitely glad that I have added this to my collection. I did get some questions about this bag asking me to compare it to my Celine box bag and compared to the Celine box bag this is so much lighter and actually fits so much more. I did end up selling my box bag because I just wasn't reaching for it as much anymore and you guys know that I stick to my rule of selling a bag before adding another one into my collection. So I was just really excited to start using this and it has been really great to wear. It can really go from such a simple and elegant look to something a little bit more sporty with the other strap. And I just love that kind of versatility. The craftsmanship on the bag is absolutely beautiful, but I will warn you guys that this is something that is a little bit more delicate. The Celine box bag also had a box calfskin material um, and I opted for the Leger leather, but when it comes to pieces like this, they do wear over time really beautifully. So I'm not so concerned about that. I haven't had any issues with any scuffing. So fingers crossed, I do keep it that way. It is not going to be an everyday bag for me, um, just because when it comes to an everyday bag, I do like to opt for something like my Celine Nano. And even though that is a smooth calf skin, it has been super, super durable. The way this one is, I just feel like it's a little bit more stiff. So any markings would just aggressively show on it. Whereas in the Nano, it's a little bit softer. My favorite everyday bag would probably just be a caviar classic flap because that material is so durable and it's just absolutely incredible for everyday use. I know you guys like to see comparisons. So this is the Dior Bobby bag compared to a classic flap. Uh, definitely so much lighter on its own. The bag really is just so light because there isn't any extra fuss with the hardware on it. And so if you're looking for something that's really comfortable and easy to wear, this is definitely a great choice. They also have this in a ton of different colors. So if you are interested, check it out on their website. And again, it comes in three different sizes. Now we're gonna go over what fits inside the medium Dior bobby bag. Keep in mind that when you go a size down, obviously it's not gonna fit as much. And obviously if you go a size up, you will be able to fit a little bit more. But I think the medium size bobby bag is perfect as it is, especially for me. So we have my organizer in here, just to show you guys, let me take this out. This is the bobby bag organizer from Samorga. My code is over here for 20% off. So just something to think about. I do like to protect my bags and make sure that everything is all good. So that is why I have that there. Interior is all suede and again, that one pocket in the back. Inside we have my wallet, my charger, lip balm and lipstick over here on the side, AirPods in here as well, some gum in there too. So this is what it's looking like now. We have a little bit of room up top, so that's where I like to put my sunglasses because this is a little bit softer so I am able to squeeze that in there. The phone does fit inside the bag. It's just that I never really put my phone inside my bags. My phone is always either in my pocket or in my hand, but if you are the kind of person that needs to have their phone inside the purse, it would probably have to do without the sunglass case. And then that can just fit right in there and then I could put some sunglasses over there. Could even probably do a slimmer case, it's just that this one's a little bit bulky, but that is how it is looking inside. I just really love the simplicity of this bag and I know that that is not everyone's cup of tea. So um, if you are like me and you just love a little bit more of a simpler style, uh, I do recommend that you go and try this on because it is just 
so stunning in my opinion. And so that is it for my review on the Dior Bobby bag. Again, if you guys have any questions on this bag specifically, please leave them down below. I've also included links to the Dior Bobby bags on the Dior website. So please check that out if you're interested. And as always, thank you so much for your love and support and I'll see you in the next one.